All right, we made it to the third sector. Which one will we choose? Mantis controlled, ooh, red and nasty, or NG controlled, nice and green. You know what, NG sound like they're good engineers. They get that nice repair bonus, so let's go there. They might have some nice ship upgrades. You have arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation. I guess we fell already? <laughs> this plot is a little confusing. Has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. It's a pretty bleak looking area. A small research station orbits a nearby pulsar. It appears to be largely abandoned, but you detect power signatures flaring up as soon as you're in scanning distance. A small combat ship launches from the station. Pirates! Alright, let's see if we want to use our missiles or not. You're close to a pulsar. Periodic waves of electromagnetic energy will disrupt your shields and drones. Oh man, shields are like the only thing we've invested in. Oh, this ship's got a, a tele teleporter as well. A teleporterium. Oh, I don't know. These guys seem pretty tough. Let's uh, let's use up our two missiles, I suppose. Wipe them out. I'm gonna aim for their shields and their weapon systems. I'm gonna have to deal with uh, whoever teleports aboard. Let's send our shields guy over since it seems like our shields aren't going to be that effective in this fight anyway. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it hurts their shields too, I suppose. That's nice. I like it when the things affect the AI in addition to the player. I hate games where it just only affects the player. Alright, we're out of missiles and... Why are we out of power? Oh, that pulsar must have shut down our weapon systems. Alright, let's continue firing on theirs. Oh, yeah, this seems to be, like randomly disabling some of our systems. That's pretty annoying. The computer's pretty good at uh, reacting to it. There we go, we got their weapons down at least. Whoa. Pulsar is pretty crazy. So just keep shooting their weapon systems. Hey, you've made your point. We are beaten. Take these and leave leave us to our shame. Nah, we don't accept surrender. You attack us, you die. Nice, nah, it wiped out their shields again. We've got these guys. Score. Well, that was going to be a really tough battle. Nice, we got 34 scrap. We have a lot of scrap now. Hopefully we can uh, jump before uh, the pulsar disables us. There we go. Get away just in time. Holy crap, a weapon is just floating in space. 18 scrap and a flak gun? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Score. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh... Take the Artemis out and get that uh, flak gun going. Oh, and we got the emergency respirators. Crew take half damage from low oxygen. Well, that's useful. Alright, to power this up, we need to increase our weapon systems and our power supply. And I think we have just enough to do that. And while we're at it, let's upgrade our door system from normal doors to blast doors. That way, when people uh, teleport to our ship, they have to carve their way through the blast doors for it, uh, first, and that will uh, stop, uh, slow them down. Although, come to think of it, I need to provide more power to that system as well. Oh, I think I actually have just enough power for this. I have more power than I thought I did. Alright, now we have a flat cannon as well. That's pretty sweet. That thing should be pretty nasty. And it doesn't use up missiles. Alright, let's visit this location. What? You inform a nearby station of your flight from the rebels. 
They offer to outfit your ship with a weapon and wish you well. 18 scrap and a hull smasher laser mark two. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm glad we came to the, this system. What is that thing? Three power, three shots. Two times damage on systemless rooms. Low chance of fire and breach. All right, uh, man, we don't have enough power for that weapon, but that's pretty cool. We can probably sell uh, one of these weapons off the next door. Or just save up our scrap and uh, upgrade our weapon systems to be ridiculous. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside this asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. All right, let's test out our new systems. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, let's see how this goes. We got decent shields, and now we have uh, great weaponry. Whoa. Let's have our uh, pilot repair the medbay. He needs to get health anyway. Whoa. Our system's at actually getting hit pretty hard as well. Pirate Disruptor. All right, we knocked out their shields uh, temporarily. <laughs> You're considerably more well-armed than I would have thought. We surrender. You know what? We're not gonna accept their offer. Well, it might be smarter now because we are taking a lot of damage ourselves. I think we'll risk it. Yeah, the next shot should take him out. Oh yeah, look at that flak attack. That was crazy. Ship explodes. All right, that was worth it. Okay, these asteroids are kind of annoying. We need to heal some of our crew. Oh, just nausea. All right, we need to repair our ship at the next station though. Our hull integrity is uh, pretty low. Man, we're still charging up our FTL, jeez. There we go. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it's trying to avoid notice. Hmm, all right, let's hail them. As you hail the fighter, it advances, weapons bristling from its hull. It's a pirate ambush. I was in an ambush if they were trying to avoid us. <laughs> They're ambushing other pirates. <laughs> huh, that's an interesting ship setup. Uh, I don't know what to aim for. This flak thing seems like it. it's kind of random. I guess we'll hit the... Uh, the shields and the pilot. Can we knock out the pilot and they lose their evasion? There we go. We got their shields damaged. Our hull is not doing good though. We need to. Uh... Man, imagine if we didn't upgrade our shields. We would have died ages ago. Uh, I definitely recommend upgrading shields early on. <laughs> Please don't kill us, we'll give you everything we have. Four fuel, a drone part, 29 scrap, and a boarding drone? Oh, sure. I'll actually accept that offer, that was very uh, fair. You didn't have to shoot us afterwards. All right, I guess we can't fight them anymore after ac accepting, we have to be honorable ourselves. Let's see, can we upgrade shields some more? Oh, it's pretty expensive. Oh, we can upgrade our uh, engines. Increases our dodge and our FTL speed. That sounds useful. Let's get our power up too, so we can actually charge it. Oh. Oh, we actually need uh, two more power. All right. There we go. 
Well, that'll give us a lot more evasion and dodge, apparently. The more shots that miss us, the, the less damage we take and the uh, less we have to spend on repairs. And uh, the less we die as well. <laughs> well. There's a store right here, but we just spent our scraps. Let's go here first. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Ooh, could be a trap. Let's send an away party to investigate. You find a Hayden Federation outpost. They message you quick. We just got word from a sister outpost that they've been discovered by the rebels and are under attack. If you are still loyal to the Federation, go save them. Psst. That's an odd way to ask for a favor. Well, they'd give us uh, some missiles, fuel, and scrap. So uh, let's help them out. Yeah, we're going to do the distress call and then the quest. Yeah, it looks like the... This way is a dead end anyway, so we'll have to skip that store. Which is a shame, because our hull is really low. You arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's a distress call unanswered. Attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive, or something else of value left on board. Alright, let's board it. You send in a waiting to investigate, but there's nothing save for the acidic stench of burnt NG parts. The place is dead. I guess the NG are like machines. Alright, let's go straight to the, the quest. You arrive in a sector to see a small Federation outpost using their anti-ship battery to fire at an automated drone. Debris from other ships is strewn around the area. Looks like the brunt of the battle is already over. You move in to assist. Allies, an anti-ship battery on the planet is targeting your enemies. Oh, awesome. Oh, this should be a really easy bat battle, and they don't even have shields. And they missed us. That's good. We'll get them good with this attack. Or is that the anti-ship battery that's firing? I think it is. They're probably usually uh, shooting against us. So the, the graphic is showing it firing at us, but it's actually shooting at the enemy. There we go. You scrap the wreckage. You contact the station once the rebel ship is destroyed. The lone survivor responds, this base is no longer safe. Let me join your crew and I'll have the station's drones patch up your ship. Oh, awesome. Three fuel, one drone part, 37 scrap, a new crew member, and seven hull points repaired. Wow, that was a worthwhile quest for sure. Now where do we stick him? Hmm. Wonder what happens if we man here. We can see the enemy interior. Let's see. What happens if we man the doors? They have level three blast doors. We man the med bay. It's like manning bonuses. I didn't notice that. Oh, no bonus for those rooms. Alright, we'll just man the sensors, and then we can see the enemy uh, ship. And we can use him as our uh, repair guy, because he gets a repair bonus. Yeah, he has no other skills to speak of. Ooh, yeah, let's hit up this store. Sweet. Man, this is an awesome system for us. NG ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Okay, so they're selling stuff so they can afford it. An engine upgrade. Anti-ship beam 2. Combat drone. Anti-personnel drone? I already have one of those. I had an intruder drone. Yeah, maybe we should get a drone control. It comes with a free system repair drone. Although that'll start using up our drone parts. It might be useful. Hmm. Plus those drones probably don't need oxygen to operate when, so they're pretty disposable. Hmm, that's tempting. Crew teleporter, clone bay. A boarding drone is pretty sweet though, too. Let's sell these Artemis missiles. We don't need them anymore. This hull laser is pretty cool. Um, hmm. Alright, so it fires three shots. That'll each do two damage to a normal room, so it does six damage. Requires three power. 
I don't know. I usually want to shoot the, the systemless rooms anyways, though. Yeah, I think I'll sell this hull laser. I think what we'll do, we'll buy this drone control here. And it comes with a system repair drone. We'll, uh, we'll keep that, I suppose. Yeah, uh, hopefully it doesn't use up drone parts per battle, otherwise, uh, what I'm trying to do is not gonna work. But I figure we can have this guy repair our ship, and this guy can board the enemy ship. And, uh, we should get better stuff from the ship if we board it instead of, uh, destroying it. And we've actually got plenty of fuel, so, uh... Let me upgrade the ship first. Because we need more power to run this drone control, I'm sure. Hmm, where is the drone control? Oh, here it is. That can be his job now. And I don't see... Oh, it's way the crap over here. Alright, we need two power. Oh, more if we want to use the boarding drone. Okay, I think the boarding drone will be our standard one. Oh, I don't know. Let's see how much power we can get it. I'm going to have to wait on that boarding drone. Yeah, we'll have to wait on the boarding drone. We need a drone control upgrade and a power upgrade to get it going. Looks like there's no bonus for manning this room either, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll just man the uh, sensors with this guy. That repair drone will just go around repairing stuff. That sounds freaking awesome. Alright, uh, let's risk jumping here just to visit another location. Oh, actually, uh, cancel. Let's, uh, repair our ship up. There we go. Fully repaired. This is excellent. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They're powering up their FDL. If they get away, they'll no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Ah, uh, they're not getting away. Oh, wow, cool. We can see their, uh... The inside of the ship now because of uh, that guy. Oh wow, they have a lot of stuff going on in their ship. Uh, I guess we'll focus down the shields first. This might be a longer battle than we uh, are looking for right now. Should mean good scrap too though. Oh yeah, we got them good. Oh, it's all on fire too. And their whole entire crew is there. So if we fire again, we might kill them. Oh, they're using their medbay, though. Oh, we did kill a couple of their crew, though. And the next shot's gonna finish them off. You know, now that I'm thinking, we don't actually have a teleporter, so we can't use that boarding drone yet, I think. Although it says, breaches through the enemy hull and wreaks havoc. Awesome. <laughs> it actually says awesome. <laughs> Maybe we don't need a tele teleporter for that. We'll find out, I suppose. This next shot will finish him off. Nice. Uh, one thing we probably have to make sure is we don't blow up the ship when our uh, boarding drone is there. <laughs> Alright, we got all kinds of good stuff. That was actually a way easier fight than I thought it was going to be. Our ship's pretty pimped out now. Alright, we made it to the long range beacon. We find a small space station that appears to be abandoned. Alright, let's examine it. It's in disarray. We find a cloning bay partially intact, but nothing else seems to be functioning. Let's scrap the machinery. You take what you can and prepare to move on. Hmm, I kind of thought it was going to give me a cloning bay. Maybe something different happens if you already have a cloning bay. You get an upgrade or something. Alright, that was a, a pretty awesome episode. We really upgraded the uh, ship a lot. We got like two free pieces of equipment. That was uh, pretty slick. Can't wait to see what happens in the next system. Thanks for watching. <laughs>